For somebody like me with a fascination for everything that has to do with water, this is one of the most amazing structures ever built. It's the world's only floating boat lift in uh, Falkirk in Scotland. It picks up a boat from the level of the lower canal, it puts it in a, in a gondola, and then the whole thing turns around half a circle, and the boat is delivered, as it were, up here, you can see the boat uh, now at the top of the structure, and then it sails off across this aqueduct into the rest of the Scottish canals. It is incredible. The Falkirk Wheel is a tremendous public attraction. People love seeing this kind of technology, and they've built this whole big water park around it. And of course, there's a gift shop. And in the gift shop, I bought this uh, 3D card and I really like it because it shows you actually with very simple technology how this very fancy bit of water technology works. Well done. coast of Scotland between Dundee and uh, Aberdeen. It's now mm, a rather poor and rundown place. Um, one of the places that we talk about when we talk about rural decline. I think a lot of the young people here will have left for the cities. But Arbroath still is a working harbour and the, uh, there are a lot of uh, fish shops. Their specialty here is the smoky, smoked haddock. We had one for lunch. It's um, <laughs> haddock's actually quite a big animal, uh, <laughs> and uh, there are still a lot of fish shops that uh, vie for the attention of the few tourists that come this way. But Arbroath is also really known for something else very famous having to do with Scotland then and now. I'm now in the Arbroath Abbey, which was built in 1178, 900 years ago. I find that just incredible. 900 years ago, people were already working and building and holding services and, and had a whole life here. But Arbroath is also known for its Declaration of Independence. In 1320, the Scots sent a letter to the Pope asking him to support their uh, desire for sovereignty so that they could name their own king rather than having the Brits do it for them. And the Pope did support that. But of course, that hasn't put an end to the tortured relationship between Scotland and England, as we now see with Brexit. Uh, Scotland would very much like to declare its independence, 
but has put that on hold as the world is waiting to see how England and Wales will fall apart uh, due to the uncertainty of Brexit and the Scots are waiting at, for another historic moment to grab their chance. farm shop in the town of Blau Ger Blair, <laughs> Blair Gowrie in the region of Angus in Scotland. They sell local produce. There's so much emphasis everywhere now on buying local and supporting your local farms. It's on the yogurts, it's on the shopping bags. It's everywhere. It's a, it's a big thing everywhere, not just in Scotland. But what I've never seen before is that you can buy your local produce from a machine in the wall. You can, uh, uh, let's see, what can you actually buy here? You can buy uh, local eggs, you can buy strawberries, you can buy cherries, you can buy ginger cookies, um, you can also buy, you can even buy strawberry tart jelly here at the Blair Gowry farm shop. Unfortunately, I did read that they are closing the shop soon to concentrate on their online deliveries. Can't blame them, but at the same time, I think the, the, the town of Blair Gowrie in the region of Angus will probably really miss its farm shop. 